Well, hello there, gamerinos and gamerinas. Konnichiwa or konbanwa. Welcome to Unicorn Storm, where we play all kinds of weird games. And today I'm back with another weird game that's called In the Rural Village of Nagaro. A short free game. You can get this game free on Steam and it's about... Uh, Coming back to your childhood, to your hometown, uh, from a Japanese perspective, and yeah, it sounded inter interesting, so I wanted to play it, and so we're going to play it. So I guess I'm going to hit play, not F. Why didn't I hit F? Okay, I can, I can walk. I can walk, I can press, I can press F. Should have done so before. <laughs> this game is animated like one of my little projects. Oh, that's great. That's great, that's really great. Oh, I already love this. I can only move left and right, so let's talk to... Let's talk to our mother. It's see... Uh, yeah, do the moonwalk! Yay! Give me my bento. So can I? Oh no, I can't, I can't go. So weird is little elementary school kid. And we can talk to all of our family. So let's do this. Hello. Yeah, hello. I'm waving at you. Yeah, and now I'm, I'm going away now. Yay, hello! Waving at you too. I guess I can only wave. Yay, I wave again. Yeah, I really like this children's drawing aesthetic. Not really Japanese style, but... but Fine enough. The character models clash a bit. <laughs> character models. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the our main character clashes a bit with the crayon style background drawings. I guess there's not the least bit of dialogue in this game. <laughs> yeah, I believe all we can do is wave to, to other people. Yeah, we can only wave. <laughs> Nothing else to do. Oh, she's waving. Yeah, I, I believe this story is like she's she's moving away for a few years and then she comes back. So I guess she's waving goodbye to all to all the people in her in her village or small town. Can we run now? Nah, there's no no option to run in here. Goodbye, goodbye, my friends. Music is really emotional. <laughs> It's like I'm, I'm not doing that much. <laughs> I'm just moving to the right and to the left. I'm not even. I'm not even moving to the right. I'm moving to the left. Ah, oh, it's a cat! It's a cat! They're stretching the cat. Yeah, I really like the drawings. And there's something written on there, and I can't really. Read it. I believe the second, the second kanji might be school. I believe it's the kanji for for like learning or school. But yeah, I can't read the rest. Oh, little tea house. Yeah, it looks really 
looks very pleasant. Everything. There, there's a lot of charm in, in, in all of it. Like I said, the, the characters clash a bit with the crayon style uh, the backgrounds. They should have like like some some bigger outlines that are yeah that, that look more like like a crayon. But aside from that, they look really good. Why do I have a mouse? Can I can I use the mouse for anything? No, I can't do anything with the mouse. I don't know why I even have it. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we're outside of our little community and now everyone is just a shape in the background. We can't even wave to them because they're they're just faceless people. And there's so many of them. Now there's like look there's well, I mean, these are just three, but there's like at least four in, in, in the background and two more. And then there's four, maybe six more of them and even more. Now we're in the big city. So many people and no one is... We, we know none of them. Everyone's faceless. Everyone's anonymous. There's no real connection to all of them. I, I believe I'm reading too much into it. Because, yeah, right now we're, we're back at the... Hey, look, there is... People... Can distinguish... Oh, look, they, they all are... Yeah, so have we have we left the town? Ah, oh, look at them. Maybe maybe we're not even leaving town. We're just going to school. I, oh no, we're just going to school. Oh, holy shit. I thought this was this. But but in the description it said that we left that we left town. Maybe after this. After school is done. When school's out for summer. Haha, <laughs> let's laugh together. We're the best of friends. We'll never be apart. Yeah. Yeah, but now she's... Before that, uh, she just waved to, to the guys in the background or in the foreground. Now she's more of a part in the shenanigans. It's more for her to do. Huh. Yeah, so there, there are some... Some letters or some, some, some signs missing. Something to... Uh, so what now? That's not... That's not how you behave in class. Yeah, so I guess I will find my seat and then uh, I am going to study hard. It's really sweet. It is really sweet. This place used to be full with young children. Oh no, now something bad is happening. What's this? 
I hope this is a doll. No, it's not. It's not a doll. Oh no! Oh no, the little kid is dying! Oh, please, no. Please, don't. Don't let the little kid die. Can we sit her down? Oh, we have to sit her down. Please sit. Everything's alright. But what? But why? Um. Is this the little girl from before? Now she's all grown up and cares for the children at school. Now she's a teacher or something. Why did she carry the girl? Why do I just leave the class unattended? <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, so I guess now I'm just retracing my steps, just going back. Oh, oh no, that it's it's the same kid, is it? Nah, I don't know. I I have no idea. I guess now the town will will look all ugly and industrialized, or or big corporations have moved in here and there there are no people around anymore but it doesn't look too bad right now <laughs> the anime opening starts Oh no, these aren't children, these are all her dolls, right? These aren't real children. Nothing is alive. This place used to have many shops. Yeah, it's like when, when civilization gets, draws near, when everything gets modernized and then all the the soul of everything dies, all the people move away, the young people move into the big towns. And she she This place used to be a lively village. She she got back to her Oh, look the Oh there none of them is moving. Even the even the dad isn't moving. So maybe it's just her her imagination, her her remembering how it looked back in the day. But nah these these look like, like dolls. It's a, it's a nice little song, if you like Japanese pop music. I do, very much so. So she she talks about or she thinks about how everything was perfect back in the day but we haven't seen well I mean from the backgrounds nothing much changed nothing changed at all it's just that now there's weird doll people here but maybe we have to go back again and then everything's like dirty and industrialized and stuff like that. 
So yeah, this this is her family home. All scarecrows here are memorials of residents of Nagaro village. Oh, oh, it's scarecrows. Okay. I mean, maybe. So I'm, I'm not really familiar with, with uh, the the history of of weird Japanese rural villages. So maybe. Info. Maybe this is about a small village that, kinda. Died out. All the people moved away. No one was there to to keep it going. Maybe that's that's it about. Can I click on something? No. Can I click on her? No. What is info about local point festival? So there are different things. Festival. Ah, so oh no, it's um, Nagoro in Ukuiya, Tokushima is now known around the world as the Valley of Dolls or the Valley of Scarecrow. So this is an actual location, and the the Scarecrow thing is a real thing. Okay. The, the person behind this global fame is Ayano Tsukimi, a very unassuming resident of this remote village. Tsukimi grew up in Nagaro when it was a populous town with its own school full of young pupils. <laughs> it had it had its own school, so yeah, it was like, like a really small town. During her secondary school year, she moved to Osaka with her parents. She married and had children in Osaka, while her parents eventually returned to Nagaro. After her mother died, Tsukimi moved back in 22 to look after her father. By that time, the population of Shikoku had already collapsed, with young people moving inexorably, inexorably to the cities, deaths exceeding births and necessary services gradually being curtailed. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much what happens to all the, uh, the fuck, to all the small towns that just don't evolve with the times. Oh, it's quite a lot to, to, to read up here. Back in quiet Nagaro, Tsukimi began growing her own vegetables, but the crows were a nuisance. To give them something to think about, she made a scarecrow that looked like her father and put it in her garden. She was very surprised to see that her neighbors would mistake the scarecrow for her real father and call out Konnichiwa. Good day. As her neighbors died uh, one after another, oh, it's it's a real, it's a really sad tale. Oh no! Tsuki so began to commemorate them with scarecrows. These caught the attention of foreign travelers and then journalists. And thanks to the power of the internet, the little boom was born. Tsukimi has made several hundred of her scarecrows. It takes about three days to make one. The face is made with stretchy cloth, uh, stuffed with batting. Cla the cloth is pinched by sewing to create the main features. And the eyes are buttons, rolled up newspapers and wires form the arms, legs and torso. To keep dolls from rotting immediately, they are dressed in waterproof clothing, followed by the outer claws that define their personality. Then it's time for the person to take up their position in the village and pose for visitors' photographs. If you visit Nagaro and wander its few pathways, there's a good chance that you'll encounter Tsukimi herself and be invited into her amazing house. She'll thank you for visiting and hope you'll come again. That's... Yeah, 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 yeah. So there are, like, there are, like, different... So, oh, no, no, it's just... So I can just, uh... Press F button to quit for the game next. Composer, Claus. That's great. Songwriter, Asami. Next. So this is more like a little advertisement for for the village of Nagaro, or maybe just like a hey look, that's a neat little thing we have. Let's make a short ten minute game about it. Yeah, it's neat. It's neat. It's a neat little tidbit, and it works kinda. 
I guess it would have been nice to explore more of the village. Uh, so to, to really explore the village and kinda kinda examine the scarecrows a bit, things like that. But it, that, that was neat. A neat bit of in information. It's more like a like like a travel guide than a game. But yeah, if you if you're interested, if you're interested to read up on the other stuff, then um, I guess you can just download the game and play in in quotations, play it for yourself. So if I quit now, do I get back to the title screen? Because I wanted to press F on there. Let me press F. F. Yes. She says, oh no, it's, it's, it's <laughs> I can't read that fast. It's Itsu Demo Oh nah. Yeah, so it's it's just gone. No, I didn't. I, I wanted to, to to see the beginning again. Show me the beginning again. There it is again. I want to press F. Ha! <laughs> they are laughing, but I guess that's everything. They're just laughing. It's just a bit of interactivity on the title screen. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, not, not uh, too, too in depth. Not too much interactivity in here. Not even really a lot of story. I, I would have thought that there w was a little bit more of of story in this. But uh, yeah, a, a nice little concept. Could be done more with it. But I mean, it's free and it's more like to to highlight some local curiosity so yeah let's leave it at that if you want to try it out for yourself i'll leave a link to the game in the uh, video description and then you can play it for yourself with that said i wish you the greatest of days that's it from Rady, and i hope to see you again on the next game jamata